All right, your family vocabulary. Hopefully you remember this, especially since the five that we're focusing are extremely basic. Uh, but just in case you don't, here they are anyway. Okay, so we're going to begin with the mother. Okay, is la mère. Remember, you can use either la or un or ma or whatever it is your sentence calls for. However, when we write it on our vocabulary sheet, we'll use a la just to help you mind you that it is, in fact, a feminine word. That should be fairly obvious since a mother is, by definition, a woman. However, it's a good habit to get into since most words you aren't going to be able to do that with. Also, don't forget the accent. Accents aren't there for decoration. Then you have the father, le père. So it's the exact same thing, only we've switched to a masculine word, since a father is, by definition, a guy. Okay, so we've switched our la for our le, and then our mère becomes père, without your m for a p. Your brother follows a similar pattern, le frère. Okay, uh, so we're still going to use a masculine article here, since a brother is, again, a guy. And we flipped out our beginning for an fr. The R E R can be a little bit difficult to say, um, but once you get it down a time or two, it becomes pretty simple. Frère. Remember to split your syllable after the E, and that should help a little bit. Frère. Frère. Your sister is a completely different word that has nothing to do with this previous pattern. It is la sœur. So la, because again, sister. Girl, definition, easy. Okay, and then so, just its own word. You can combine the O and the E together to form that kind of like weird smashed up letter. However, in modern French, it doesn't make any difference. You can smash them together, you cannot smash them together, whatever. And then finally, we have the word for friend. So we actually have four different words for friend, depending on if you're talking about a guy friend or a girlfriend. Uh, and then kind of depending on which one you feel like using. So you have l'ami, okay? so A-M-I if you're talking about a guy, A-M-I-E if you're talking about a girl. However, since ami begins with a vowel, your article won't change. Le and la both contract to l apostrophe. You can also choose to use copain. Le copain is a guy friend and la copain is a girlfriend. Remember, it's a very, very distinctive difference in the pronunciation of copain and copain versus ami. Ami and ami sound the exact same. There's no difference in pronunciation based on if the e is there or not. With copain, the male form is nasal, copain, and the female form is not, copain.